All right, everybody, before you go, I want to tell you about a story from jury duty today. It has nothing to do with this episode, but what the heck? I've got a microphone. I have a story. I'm going to tell it to you. I had jury duty today, and after uh, about a couple of hours of sitting there waiting, probably three hours of just sitting in the jury room waiting for numbers to be announced, I was number 148. My number was indeed called, and we were led into the courtroom, and a series of questions from the judge to the potential jurors began. There were 56 of us in the room. I never, I didn't survive to the round where the lawyers then asked questions of the potential jurors. I only made it through the judge round. And I know I could have sat there and not said anything about supporting jury nullification. And I know that's a reasonable strategy some people pursue. But I just couldn't help myself because the, the judge said this, something like this. He said, I need to know whether or not you guys would have any problem following instructions. When I tell you that this is the law and I give you these instructions, even if what I say to you sounds silly or stupid, is there anybody here who would have any trouble following my instructions? Well, I just, sorry, just there's something in me. There's no way I could sit there and not raise my hand for that. So I put up my hand. Of course, I'm the only one out of the 56. The others are probably doing what Let's face it, I probably would have done 20 years earlier, not really knowing any better. So I'm not trying to say I'm superior to these people. I wouldn't have known any better either. I wouldn't have come across the information. But implicitly, what are you saying by not putting your hand up? Yes, no matter how silly or stupid the instructions you give me, I will follow them. I just can't wrap my head around that. So I did put my hand up. So he wanted clarification. And I said, I just thought for the sake of honesty and transparency that I should make clear that my published work contains, and I just, this is as far as I went, I didn't even say jury nullification, I said contains advocacy for the rights of juries that I think are, uh, is not um, observed necessarily in this courtroom. And then he wanted further clarification. He said, did I believe, and I think he said something like, did I believe that juries have some inherent pardonability? And so I clarified and I said, I believe that juries have the right to judge both the law and the facts. And then he asked whether or not in this particular case, which was, um, I don't even know if I'm, I don't want to get in trouble, but let's say it was a pretty serious case. Could I nevertheless follow the instructions? Now, in this particular case, I think it's almost a certainty I would have had no f problem following the instructions because there didn't seem to be any moral ambiguity there. But all the same, I was dismissed. But I guess what just gets me, and I immediately came home and told one of my kids was sitting in that room, having that judge say that, or ask us that question, and there was only one hand that went up. So anyway, I hope that'll be their hand someday also. Or maybe we become more successful on this whole jury nullification thing, but I don't know, I'm still quite, quite um, I guess I can't say I'm surprised, but nevertheless, it's just kind of a glum feeling that I don't want to be the only hand going up at that point, but I was. <laughs>